Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Retro. Um, it's been a while because, hey, Christmas has been on the way and I've been busy. I'm sure you have too. But one of the things that I've been really looking forward to this Christmas is this little thing here, which is the Crash ZX Spectrum Annual 2018, which I'm sure if you're a retro fan, you'll probably know it's a Kickstarter run by Chris Wilkins of Fusion Retro Books, who's done quite a few other titles and I've got a few of those. I'm not going to worry about covering which ones those are because this is the one I've been waiting for and the one that I've been really interested in. I've been a fan of Crash Magazine by Newsfield Publications since I was a, a, a young man, um, 12, 13 I guess, in about 84 when Crash first came out and uh, that magazine covered the Sinclair Spectrum and was published until around 1991 when of course at the end of the Spectrum's life there was not much else it could do apart from be subsumed into Sinclair user and then eventually disappeared and became a memory until this year when Chris Wilkins got it together to run a Kickstarter campaign which raised tens of thousands of pounds and I was one of the backers to produce a, an annual, a 2018 annual and here it is and my wife got this for me, wrapped it up and wouldn't let me look at it until Christmas Day so that was quite difficult because the package arrived a couple of weeks ago and I've been desperate to look. thought I'd just give you a quick run through, I'm not going to go through every page because hey this is 5 Minute Retro and also you should have the pleasure of going through this yourself if you were a fan of Crash Magazine. And even if you weren't, because it's a really well-produced book, the cover has been on a, under a self-imposed embargo uh, until Christmas Day. Um, all of us backers agreed not to reveal the cover to other people, but that embargo is now up, and here's the cover. This is by Oliver Frey, who, of course, uh, was the original art editor, stroke art director at Newsfield and on Crash, and it's uh, pretty much as you'd expect. A beautiful uh, bit of airbrushing with uh, the original um, Crash Alien on the front there. And it looks just like a copy of Crash from 30 odd years ago. And it's it's a joyous thing to open this up on Christmas Day. And relive those days as when you were a little a little 14, 14 year old boy or whatever I was or you were at the time. And then turning over, um, we get straight to the contents page. If I'm disappointed at all, I just think it would have been nice to have a a double page spread contents page. The actual annual itself, of course, is hardback, which um, the magazine, of course, would not have been a hardback, but that doesn't detract from it at all because every single page of this magazine is beautifully produced. It feels wonderful quality. Um, and we get straight into the news section. And as I said, I'm not going to go through every page, but I have bookmarked a couple of things, um, although one of my bookmarks has fallen out, annoyingly. Um, there's a feature there on the spectrum next. But every single page of this looks like you could be reading an original copy of Crash. But what I think is really outstanding are these double page spreads for the Crash Smashers, um, which of course was the ultimate accolade back in the day, if you're a reader of, Spe of, the, uh, of the Crash magazine. And that was awarded, uh, Crash Smash was awarded to any title that got 90% or more. Um, and as a kid, these were pretty much the first things I read in this magazine. I flicked through the pages looking for the Crash Mashes to see where I was going to spend my pocket money the following weekend, if indeed I could save up enough money. Uh, of course, most of these are modern games, um, because there's not a lot of point of reviewing really old games that we all know about. But they've been given the traditional and original Crash treatment with a little bit of introduction, as you can see, and a couple of criticism boxes um, where people might or might not that the reviewers might or might not disagree. And these beautiful colour photographs. Again, I say every single page of this is, is beautifully produced. And one of the other features I like, and this is a bookmark, I'll come back to that in a second if I've got time, is the playing tip, se playing tip section, which again, um, concentrates um, more on kind of modern games. Um, but it's, uh, it's by Nick Roberts, who was one of the original um, uh, people that ran the playing tip section back in the day, although in my era I think it was Robin Candy, but I do remember Nick Roberts, so it's quite nice that he's been brought back in to do this. I think he's now um, at Retro Gamer magazine. And then near the back we have a uh, developer diary with Paul Jenkinson, who of course is famous for the Spectrum show. So if you're a Spectrum fan, you'll also know and love. But anyway, that's my quick run through. I really recommend you buy this. It's a beautiful magazine, a beautiful book. Um, these are the other Fusion Retro books. Um, as a backer of uh, Kickstarter, I also got these two brilliant badges, um, this Crash badge and this Crash Smash badge, which I love, and this map of uh, Pentagram, which is gonna go on my office wall. It's a beautiful thing. Um, Thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please subscribe. I'll put a link here. 
um, and maybe some links to other videos here. And until next time, happy retro.